Hello everyone, my name is Paul Gogui. Today I am going to discuss about the cells of the immune system. In this video lecture, we will understand the terms immunity, immune response, immune system and immunology. We will also see the types of immunity and what will happen if immunity fails. Immunity is defined as the general ability of a host to resist infection or disease. In Latin, immunis means free from burden. The next term in is immune system. Immune system is the collection of cells, molecules, tissues and organs which are responsible for maintaining the immunity of the body. The science which studies all the aspects of the immune system is known as immunology. Next is the overview of immune system. Immunity is of two types. First one is innate immunity. Next one is adaptive immunity. Innate means inborn. That means it is present at birth. Next one is adaptive. The immunity which an individual acquires during life. That means it is acquired after birth. The first thing and the easiest way to think about the immunity is, let's say, your body is a country or your body is a city. In that city, you have cops, detectives, army who will find out any mob and mobster that will rising there and going there to destroy your city. This will be cops, detectives to find, out, uh, find them out and when they find them out, they will put them into prisons. And th this is the basic idea of immuno system. Why we need to think about this in the first place? Because we have invaders, we have foreign materials comes inside our body. Example, bacteria, viruses, they are very dangerous. They try to compromise the body's immune system. They will invade inside our body, destroy the body cells, destroy the components of our body and our body is not going to stand in that mode. So whatever the type of pathogen is, our body is prepared to fight against those pathogens. Immune system is fighting against those pathogens. This is the generalized idea of immunity. Let's think about invaders. They try to infect us and make us sick. Now the first thing, our body is protected by the skin. Skin is the largest organ of our body. Our body contains barrier. Barriers for example skin. Skin is the largest organ of our body. When the body is covered by the skin, so if any of the virus or bacteria needs to take entry, they need to invade our skin. If the skin is cut due to some wound or by any other means like mosquito, if they bite us, through uh, that sense they can take entry. If there are many, uh, there are many different routes, but they need to bypass these barriers. So, skin is the most effective defense in primary line. Except that we have epithelial cells. For example, epithelial cells in our guts, in the stomach, we also have mucosal layers. If you look at eyes, there is mucosal layers. So, these things are there to protect us. In the stomach, stomach is very acidic pH is 2 to 3. In this condition, bacteria can survive easily. For first line defense, we have skin, mucosa, gastric juice, epithelial cells, etc. So any infections to progress, barriers need to be destroyed. So the thing is, our body is ready for any kind of situations. Our body have two different lines of defense. First one is uh, those remote cops means the different cell which is present through the body which are circulating around in the blood stream. The job of those cell if there is any pathogen they will take them and kill them in the first place. This is the first line of response. There is another part of the immune system. This is very specific which is known as adaptive immunity along with the barriers in innate immunity, some complement system is present. Complement system are not cells, they are certain chemicals. 
they will target some specific pathogen and as a result they will create pores in the pathogen. There is another mode of immune system. They will always on but when the bacteria will enter they will destroy it very rapidly. Along with this uh, some cells also present example neutrophils and antigen presenting cell. These cells are activated when there is any invading, invading agent present in our body. Example of antigen presenting cell are dendritic cell and macrophages. They are phagocytic cell. They engulf other cells. Next one is adaptive immunity. This is totally different from the innate immunity. They, they are very specific. It takes longer time to develop but more specific. It is activated when the pathogen enters and showcases their properties. They are responsible for production of antibodies which are very specific in nature. Actually, T cell activates B cell and after activation B cell get produce B cell will produce antibodies. Okay, this is the difference between humoral and cell mediated immunity. This system begins with the antigen. Antigen can have different mode of entry. Antigen could be a part of the pathogen or it could be a whole pathogen. If the antigen is whole pathogen, it gets engulfed by the macrophage. Once the macrophage engulfs the antigen, it becomes antigen presenting cell. Now the antigen presenting cell will break them into small fragments and that antigen presenting and that fragment will act as a whole antigen. Now the uh, antigen will activate the helper T cell. Once the helper T cell gets activated, it will activate further beta cell or cytotoxic T cell. Once the beta cell get activated by the T cell, beta cell can turn itself into plasma cell. Then plasma cell get start producing antibody. Antibody will be very specific against those antigen. On the other hand, if the antigen is already present in our normal cell, normal cell will uh, start to change some sort of behavior. When the signal is received by the cytotoxic T cell, they get activated. Once the cytotoxic T cell get activated, it will kill the infected cell. Now let's assume that antigen is attached for the first time. Then the whole process will restart. After certain time, helper T cell A B cell wants to store the information about the antigen. For this purpose, helper T cell get converted into memory helper T cell and beta cell get converted into memory beta cell. Actually, these memory cells are present in our immune system for longer period of time. Antibody mediated immune system or yeah, immune response is known as humoral immunity and cell mediated immune response is known as cell mediated immunity. Next one is WBC means white blood cell. This is also known as leukocytes. WBC is of uh, two types. First one is granulocyte, next one is egg granulocyte. Those WBC which have specific granules are known as granulocyte and those uh, WBC which don't have any specific granules are known as egg granulocyte. 